So in the upcoming week, they're going to tear down Allison Hall, which is the the old physics lab building or the physics building, physics department building that is attached to Parker Hall, which is the mathematics building. Parker Hall, which is where my office is, is still going to hang around for a few more years. Um, these are both very old buildings. Years, decades ago, there was also a Saunders Hall, with, which was a chemistry building attached to these two buildings. But right now I stand at the atrium or the juncture between physics, the physics building, Allison Hall, and Parker Hall. Uh, there's a stairwell that connects these two, the three floors. Um, but this is the last weekend that Allison Hall is going to be open. Uh, people are clearing out their offices. So I thought I was just going to, I'm just going to wander through. This is going to get pretty boring pretty quick probably. But you see just everything's being cleared out. They've sent out an email saying the doors are going to be locked uh, Monday at 9 a.m. and anything still in the building is just going to get destroyed with the building as they tear it down. So who knows, maybe there will be some last minute evacuations of old desks. I never really spent much time in Allison Hall, it being the physics building and me being in mathematics. They're related but connected, like the buildings, but never really a reason to visit the various buildings. But much like Parker Hall, I'm learning as I go through all these old offices that this building, while it looks just very boring and rectangular, is just a warren of hallways, twisted hallways, and small offices for you know, graduate students and professors. And everywhere you look, you might see another hallway or a room filled with weird old physics stuff or just a break room like this or this was probably a few graduate students offices or something like that um, and there are three floors of this uh, again th these buildings were built probably back in the 50s or 60s back when aesthetics weren't really a big thing it was all about functionality so you know they just built a big rectangular concrete building with a hallway right down the center. This hallway that I'm walking down on each side, there were a bunch of offices, and there were uh, some lab spaces and some classrooms. Actually, this building doesn't have many classrooms. I've spotted a couple, but compared to Parker Hall, Parker Hall is filled with classrooms, but like this. So here I, I come in, this is room 308, which at one point was probably just one big classroom or something, but it's been partitioned up into this whole little maze of offices all of these offices abandoned now and within a couple weeks will be completely destroyed because the whole building is coming down I mean, it's just interesting. So here's a little, you know, window. Of course, that's backlit badly on the camera, but a little window that looks out um, from the third story of Parker Hall. And then this door, which is locked. Who knows what's behind there? That's kind of scary. Um, anyway, the whole building is just full of this. It's fascinating to walk through when essentially it's being abandoned. I won't go through every floor here because more or less they're all kind of the same, but I'll just continue here to the end of the third floor. And again, you forget just how big these buildings were. I mean, they used every bit of space. There's no luxuries. There's no, you know, big atrium with couches or anything. There's just rooms, offices, and everything was used. Here's a wash station for, I guess, you know, when uh, experiments go bad, or a shower stall, probably, or something. Who knows when that was last used. Anyway, utterly fascinating. Not quite sure when this building was built. I guess I could look that up online.
but it's coming down starting next week, I believe, and probably be completely gone in the next month to make room for a brand new classroom building and dining building, which will probably be much prettier, but not nearly as interesting. So here's a stock room. Somewhere I had seen an astronomy equipment room. I don't remember where that was. Uh, I don't know. It must have been on the second floor. Anyway, this is the third floor of Allison. First and second floor have their own charms, I'm sure, but in the end, all looks pretty much the same. So, any physics past or present physics students at Auburn University can say their farewells now. Time's pretty much up.